SketchUp is pretty fast, but it's also pretty clunky, especially when you want to model multiple 3D forms that are intersecting several lines and surfaces. That's the solid dilemma. And the solid dilemma is created by the mesh engine modeling in SketchUp, but it's solved by SketchUp Boolean tools. Hi, I'm Brandon, founder and architect in residence with I'm the Studio. And in this video, I share to get the most from Boolean geometry tools in SketchUp. Now, if you're looking for some more interesting things to do with SketchUp, check out my top 10 video, which I'll include as links in the video. Um, that's made with Motionform, another partner channel that we work with. And do me a favor, subscribe to the I'm the Studio channel. If you like content like this, and click the bell for notifications. With SketchUp models, as in most 3D programs, there's a time when you, of course, want to start getting some really complex geometry. And SketchUp gives you that option in the form of using Boolean geometry. That means where you add, subtract, or intersect surfaces, and also in terms of intersections. So any geometry you have in your stage, any surface, can intersect another surface. I thought I'd start sh by showing you a line so you can see some of the basic concepts that also play with 3D. Whenever you intersect a surface, it divides. Uh, <clears throat> and if you just delete that line, it turns back into a regular surface. And every time you put a line through another line, if it's not in a group, if it's in the same plane, which this one isn't, if it's in the same plane, it'll make it a different line. And no matter what I want to do with this one, it's now connected. And so the same thing happens unless I press copy and make a, another one. Same happens if we want to, for instance, take this geometry for this roof and this um, sort of gable of an architecture. If we wanted to move these next to each other by the center. So now these are sort of joined. When you triple click, it selects the entire form. But say that you want it to move this edge. Again. Now you see that there's this sort of connection. It's sticky right now. But we don't see the intersecting edges. And so one way to do these sort of things, and what, what for instance, if I wanted to take out this part of the roof, rather than this part is we can select the whole part of this material in this object and we can right click and click intersect faces so all of this selection is pretty much what can be intersected within the selection with model is when you're working with groups you can intersect inside the group with things that are outside of it but i'm going to go ahead and intersect with selection and now, you can see now that we have access to this. This line is divided. If we wanted to take this out, for instance, and even remove this geometry so it's nicely renderable, and we just go back to our, our view, we can see that this is giving us an interesting form now. And if we even wanted to make this larger, we could say all these geometry that we had intersected before, we can take that down and have two of these. Now, mind if you try to do it again, if it's too close, geometries will be sticky. But if we copy it and it's far enough away, it has a different set of order. All right, so that's using our intersect tool to sort of add something. Now let's see what happens when we intersect and might possibly 
want to take away. So now we put this box with this. So now using stickiness, these are pretty much one surface. So now when I take a part out of this box, that's all I needed to do. And I could do this as many times as possible. Mind that the more surfaces and lines in a model, the longer it will take to load. So what about if we want to do an intersection with something like a cylinder? Well, I'm going to show you two different varieties of how to use intersection with these two. Um, I'm going to make these a group. I'll show you uh, the method that I'll show you to do these things that we just talked about. And I'm going to open the solid tools menu. So first of all, with this component, I'll just show you how to do it with the native uh, program. We're trying to get this to go over this form. And we're not exactly larger than it yet, so I'm going to I'm going to select this, and I'm going to select this, and I'm going to go ahead and make them wider. We'll go ahead and just focus on these two objects. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm just going to extrude this form over this cylinder and I'm going to delete these edges that are not of that much importance and I see right now that it's it hasn't really intersected yet so if I just uh, do that selection box and do the same intersect with selection and I take this off and this off immediately you see voila we've intersected with the surface so this is one way that some people will make a intersection to a um, round surface now what about if we want to use our solid tools so what is the solid tools about solid tools does similar sort of things but as you know <coughs> as you know with um, Groups, groups do not display stickiness. But what you can do, and we'll make a copy so you can see some of the varieties of Booleans that we can do, is if you click this as our first surface, so the order matters, we click this, and we click our, our um, we're gonna start with the subtract, it subtracted the first surface. So we can also do this. Uh, this will be better if I move this out so you can see what's happening. If both of these have like some overlapping geometry, and I'll show this one in a similar way, you can click both of these and you will have a um, outer shell. So now they're one object. And then you can click on these here, and you also have this option for uh, intersection. So that took the intersection of all those masses. Um, so you have the options that outer shell, intersect, or union. Uh, union is uh, going to combine the solids, and it will keep the like, interior voids. So I'll show you the, what that looks like. Um, if we took these and hit union, uh, it would it would have to be a little more complex of an object. But I'm going to show you what things you can and cannot. Um, mind that there's also um, a trim option and a split option, um, and those are pretty much. Uh, a little more complex geometry. I would start with the basic, but um, when we're looking at just basic 
functions like for the intermediate and beginner, I think these are some really good things to practice around with. Um, but I'm going to show you what you can't do. This uh, right now is what SketchUp will call, with the entity menu, a solid group. So this is part of the whole complex thing, so I don't get too much into this for beginners. But I will say that, you know, if, be very simple about your models. Because once something like this happens, if I say I want to maybe Boolean or Union, it would say that it's not a solid. So be mindful that if you're extruding or making forms, that they're very simple. Because if you start getting complicated, it's going to... Um, give you that error. So these are simple geometries that work with the Boolean. Um, whereas, of course, if you exploded these, uh, it would still do a form of that intersection. But you'd have to probably triple click intersect faces with selection. And now you have the ability to take that out. So if something is a little bit complicated, there's always several ways to do what you're trying to do. So now I have these gable ends uh, and they are something I want to join and actually now that I have these two I'm thinking about an interesting way of probably getting intersection. And So now you can see that we've made this very simple yet beautiful shape by intersecting those. So there's all sorts of combinations that can be made um, using solids uh, as groups and solid solid groups, or by using the um, intersect function. And I've saved this for last uh, because I have these two forms. I want to show you how you can do that with the cylinder and that angle. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make a copy of this. And with my copy, press control. I'm going to go ahead and just by taking that top surface down to the bottom, I essentially have now made a parallel surface. And what I want to do is I want to subtract this from the top and the bottom. And there you go. Now I have an even more interesting shape. And that, that took a lot less steps versus deleting all the surfaces and the leftover geometry that happens from intersecting surface. So these are some of your options for working with Booleans and intersections in SketchUp. I Am The Studio is your home for growing the best design and software skills. We're glad to bring you this episode from our complete SketchUp Guide series. I'm Brandon, your instructor for this video. And if you enjoyed it, then go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications. See you in the next video.